Hi everybody, this is Steve at the Guru Brew. I hope everybody's doing fine today. Today we're going to look at a Dell laptop. The laptop came through the door and the main complaint was that there was a virus on there. They had a lot of pop-up windows and strange things going on. So we're going to take a look at it and uh, decide what we're going to do next. Here is the laptop. It's an Inspiron laptop, uh, 1650, and it has Vista on it. It's got the Celeron processor. It's a fairly nice looking laptop. The one thing I noticed when it came in, there's no Windows sticker on the back of this thing. And I don't know if the Windows sticker was removed or it was stuck on some documentation that came with the, the laptop or what exactly happened to it. But the main concern is, is if I have to redo this operating system and I have to format the hard drive, the um, operating system, Vista, this is a 32-bit in this case, will be lost without that sticker. And then, of course, you'd have to buy a new operating system to um, be able to use this computer legally again. So, um, my first thing that I would like to do is go ahead and, and boot this computer up and try to boot it in safe mode and see if there are any tools within Vista and Dell to um, save the operating system on a set of CDs or maybe a flash drive so that we're able to burn the operating system to keep it for future use. When these operating systems um, are distributed and a person gets their computer for the first time, often they're warned when they first turn on the computer that they're to make a set of recovery disks and a lot of times that warning is ignored and without a set of operating system disk um, this this computer is going to be a boat anchor so let's go ahead and turn it on i'm going to try to go to safe mode by pressing f8 i'm going to come down to the safe mode prompt here hit enter and what safe mode allows the computer to do is just start up with a minimal amount of drivers and does not launch all the startup programs that come after the fact so if there is any viruses or non-destructive software in here that would cause the computer not to function properly um, hopefully by starting it in safe mode it won't launch which will allow us to get into the tools to try to burn that disk now, Dell, uh, Gateway, uh, HP, most, most of all the uh, major computer manufacturers do have a means of um, making a, a backup of the operating system within the computer. So uh, it's just up to you to find it. Okay, we are in safe mode now. We know that because we have this uh, little safe safe mode text here. So I am going to um, go into the start menu here and just look around a little bit and this is a Dell and I, I can see there's some Dell folders right here and there's there's a one just called Dell and then there's a Dell data safe and a Dell Windows Support Center and then a Dell Wireless I'm going to look under the uh, data safe first. Okay, underneath that there's this one. It's the Dell data safe local backup. Let's try that. Click on that. Okay, it's asking me what kind of a program I want to launch this with. And it's an exe file. So that is not a good sign. <laughs> um, chances are that this uh, this operating system is corrupted to the point where I'm not able to open this. 
I'm going to go ahead and try it again using a different method. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so as you've seen that failed where we tried to burn the disk. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to reboot the computer and we're going to use F8 again. And then we're going to go to the repair feature. And this is going to take us to a portion of a Dell partition that's called uh, recovery options for the Dell. And I'll show you how to get to that and how to use that. It's not going to make our disk for us, but at this point, all we can do now is try to rebuild the hard drive and get it back to where it was, and then we can uh, burn our disk later. So with that being said, um, the first step in doing this with a Dell is to go ahead and boot it and then use our F8, click on, and then this first option up here is repair your computer. So it is loading here on the bottom. It's asking us our keyboard input. With US next. And then you have to log in as a username and you must know the password for the username that you're logging into. Um, so make sure that you uh, use the right one. And also they must have administrative privileges okay and then you'll end up with a screen like this now this is only on a Dell if it's a different type of machine and it's not a Vista you're gonna see something different here but uh, on this one at the very bottom they've called this the data safe restore and emergency backup it's right here at the bottom Dell data safe restore and emergency backup you want to select that Now they give you two ways to use this tool and you'll see that when it comes up here in just a second. Uh, the first one here you can restore and preserve your files that are on there like your pictures and your favorites and that sort of thing or you can uh, just completely wipe the hard drive clean. Now in this case where the the data needs to be saved first we're going to choose that first one and um, go ahead and say next down here and then it's telling us where it's going to save the emergency folders and files and what it does is it will choose the C drive and it will make a file folder called emergency so you just want to click next here that just explains that here keep in mind this is only for the Dell Vista and then it's going to scan your computer and it's going to look for all the new files and folders that need to be saved. And this might take some time. This will actually probably take, oh, depending on how much you have in your system, at least 10 to 15 minutes. So when this is done, I will be back and I'll show you what to do next. So hang tight. Okay, it's collected all of our data and figured out what we put on this computer since it was restored new again. And there's little check marks here. You can see uh, for pictures, music, video. The best thing to do if unsure is just to go ahead and keep all these checked. And uh, if you want to get picky down through here, you can choose this advanced options. But just for this video and um, as a general purpose default to go ahead and leave them all checked and then go ahead and click this next button down here which I'm going to do and I'll see you as soon as it's finished up. This screen is actually telling it what drive you'd like to put the emergency data on and as you can see it defaulted to my C drive actually that's the only drive I have in here but if you had a thumb drive or something like that you could certainly put it on a different drive but I just wanted to show you where it says the C drive there and then you'll click next down here and proceed with the next thing okay now that our emergency file and folder backup has finished we can go ahead and click the next button here okay we are ready to restore the computer you just have to answer yes here and next it's going to go ahead and partition my hard drive and then reinstall the operating system and then we can look for those files to restore 
after this is completed. We'll be back. Well, as you can tell, the Dell Data Safe local backup is now finished. It says it's formatted my partition and reinstalled selected system backups. And it's 100%. And there's a button to restart. So let's go ahead and press that. As soon as this gets booted back up, I'll be back. Okay, this is the next thing that popped up during my reinstall. It's just asking me my country, my time, my currency, and my keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next on that. I've gotta accept these two agreements here. Check this one, as well as this one here. And then hit the next button. And then it's asking me for a username, so I have to give it a username. So I'm going to use the one that was here, Mary. And at this time, I can give her a different picture. I'm just going to take the default, the little flower, and hit next. Now it's asking me if I'd like to go ahead and name the computer. I'm just going to leave it as Mary's PC. And I'm going to pick her a background, maybe this one here. I don't really like any of these actually, but I'm sure she'll change it to what she likes anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick one real quick here and then uh, hit the next key. And then I'm going to use the recommended settings here. I'm going to set my time zone. Check the time, check the date, and hit next. And hit start. So as soon as this is finished, I will be back. Okay, this Dell Inspiron is coming back up now. It's just about done after I put in my time and date and agreed to the uh, software. It's taken about three or four minutes. Now it says it's preparing my desktop. So it shouldn't be long now. As soon as I see a change, I'll be back. Okay, this is the next screen that came up and this is uh, support software from Dell and they're just asking my permission to receive and uh, send my service tag information. I'm just gonna leave that defaulted as yes and go ahead and hit the finish. That way if my customer has a problem with the software, they don't have to worry about finding service tags and that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're gonna let this go just a little bit longer and I'll be back as soon as we see a change. It's been uh, making some noises and clicks and clangs and changing the screen graphics. I think it's just about completing the uh, nearing the end. It's asking me to hook up to a network, which I'm not gonna do right now. Um, but I am going to go ahead and uh, hook the Ethernet cable in. And if there's any updates, then that can get started. Let's go ahead and look at our device manager now and see if all the, uh, the uh, devices have drivers to them. I just like to right click on properties on my computer and then go to the device manager. That's something I never liked about Vista. It, uh, it always asks you way too many questions. So you can see my de my device manager is filled back up. Now the last step of this is um, going to be to put the user's data back on this drive. And if you remember at the very beginning when I I asked the program to go ahead and save my data. It told me it would put it on the C in the emergency section. So let's go into that C and see if it's there. And there should be one called emergency. There's one. And it made a bunch of backup files. And Let's see if we can just stretch this out a little bit and see if it makes any sense to us. Now this one, this top one is the application. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run it first and see what happens. It has our date on there, 1210, so. And these just appear to be all the data files. 
and, and it broke them up into uh, bite-sized pieces I've noticed they're all the same size here so far nothing it's just got a little time circle and the arrow here we go okay I am going to allow this it says the file folder contains the archives when backed up blah 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 click next to restore all right next well what I like to do restore all files that's right let's go next where would you like to put them restore to their original location yep and let's go and there it goes so it looks like it's gonna take a while it's on zero but it's moving along pretty nicely as soon as this finishes up I will be back well it finally did finish up and I did reboot and if I go into my start menu and I go to my pictures or my documents or wherever you can see that my files are now restored so it worked just fine I did get an error message of several files that weren't transferable but those files turned out to just be uh, antivirus files so no great loss there um, so this computer is restored and you know, fully cleaned out the only thing I have to do is um, update everything put it in Windows update and make sure that all the drivers and uh, security patches are filled and uh, any service packs might need to be taken and then I'm going to put an antivirus on it and uh, that'll button this one up so um, thanks for watching I hope you learned something today on this Vista the Dell Vistas are pretty much the same so um, I hope you have success with yours have a good day Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.